mission email addresses are created for the trainees. This is a good development as it enables the participants to become part of the connected, those who are connected. It is not possible to overstate the impact of the internet. Never, bef never before has technology brought such an ability to end isolation and connect ordinary people to the wider world. The internet is creating a community of global citizens, provided there is adequate in infrastructure and access facilities. My government is committed to giving every community a connection to the digital world. However, we should always guard against cyber threats and what they now call the cyber crime. The cyber crime content that collectively seeks to destabilize our culture and well-being. Our people, particularly children and the youths, should be protected from accessing harmful sites. Community information centers will provide a platform for communities to gather data, data and information about the community. For example, ecotourism, arts and crafts, information that is unique to each and every community that will be gathered and stored in the form of databases, CDs, DVDs, and websites in order to be accessed at national and international levels. The gathered data and information would be important in preserving our heritage and culture. Ladies and gentlemen, community information centers will benefit our ordinary people in rural areas, farmers, students, entrepreneurs, tourists, school leavers, pensioners, civil servants, the physically challenged, and the elderly. I am informed that the Community Information Center has generated, this particular one, has generated a lot of interest among the local communities and, of course, the, among the Murombezi community. The establishment of these community information centers resonates well with the Zimbabwe Agenda for Sustainable Socioeconomic Transformation, Zim Asset, the program we are working on just now, which treats communication in general and ICTs in particular as one of the pillars for economic growth. As you all are aware, in 2013, the government of Zimbabwe adopted the Zimbabwe Agenda for Sustainable Social, Social and Economic Transformation, what we now call ZIMASET, which is an economic blueprint for the period 2013 to 2018. The blueprint is aimed at growing the economy through the creation of jobs, improving health, social service delivery, and providing affordable housing for people. The ministry worked with private sector players in setting up this community information center. I would like to commend 
document support center the document support center and their partners for partnering the ministry in the establishment of the Murombezi Community Information Center. We invite other private sector players, international players, and cooperating partners in the spirit of the PPs, PPPs, the spirit of public-private partnership, to come and contribute towards the development of our country. We have some 50, 152 districts to do, and each of our districts in the country must have a center like this one. So we still have a, a long period to, to go, but I, I am told that we have uh, four or five or centers that are already well prepared to repeat what we are doing today. The opening of this community information center has come during the fourth ordinary session of the African Telecommunications Union Conference of the Plenipotentiaries, hosted by Zimbabwe. The conference was attended by over 300 delegates from ATU member states, 37 African countries, 18 observer organizations from all over the world, and 10 observer countries, which include China, United St the United States of America, Poland, the Kyrgyz, Turkey, Japan, Korea, and the Ukraine. I hope that the summit included in its deliberation the development of rural telecommunications as well. I would also want to thank the ITU and ATU for championing ICT development that especially focuses rural communities. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure <coughs> to officially declare the Murombezi Community Info Information Center open. I thank you. Katenda Siabonga. Mokomdenga Azini Maputi Handai Tod Zakari Kajpen Kajpen Ka President Ka President Ke Computer Ke Computer Ke Kajipa Tanda Mire Hezokanai Guchungo Wurna Murito Iowa, Jote Dadis, Mazis Viraka Nai, Eh, Vataola Baba, Vataola Miru Yetzito, Vataola Tsime, Rosunuku for Africa, Vataola Mana Wambuya Bona, Vataola Zoguti. Which are Garazagada and the name of Kuto in me, the Maita, Naspana, Pavaka, Zimba, the Nimote Mawia, Kuka, Kunyara, and the Nimote Mawia, the Nimote Mawia, the Nimote Mawia, the Nimote Mawia, the the Nimote Mawia, the Nimote Mawia, the Nimote Mawia, the the Nimote Mawia, the Nimote Mawia, the Nimote Mawia, the Zikoro, Zose, Zofara Ujore Zapana D.A. Ipo Pano, Atano Pekera, Kutaringa Ndi Ipo Ndi Kani. Munoto Ujore Zapana Kwa Zikoro, Angawari Pano, 
ma ese o ya kwa DA na wati zora kana mjigara kumwe kuna mama DA yo kurara ke kutu kadoma muri pan muno apa votumira kwa kavuna tichatwa kawa nono maka vo zimaka number 1 number 2 number 3 kwa sita kuna ile kesi ya president mama tochenge amwacho to atari so to so to serai tutuku pa yakuti pa maka dzadza ne pa maka kuna ne pa to da kula mba tiri number 1 ani se saka wa manyika ndiwo kama sa o ceremony zino
Your Excellency, Tribus is called to the International Telecommunications Union. Yeah, I'm familiar with Dr. Hamad Bin Ture. I'm over in the search guy. But the Pana Vice or Deputy ITU Secretary General, Mr. Haolin Zhao. My name is Mashuma Shuma Yu Taura Yu Yu Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it's really our pleasure to be invited to join this very important opening ceremony of our Community Information Center. ITU commanded marvelous development of ICT and telecommunication in Zimbabwe over recent years. We are proud of the initiative by President to provide ICT tools to connect the rural area to eliminate the digital divide. And the ITU, as the United Nations Specialized Agency for ICT and Telecommunications in the world, would like to be part of the initiative our president, we will stay with you. We will try our best to cooperate with uh, our administration here, with our industry here, try to improve the ICT and telecommunication infrastructure to realize the target set up by our president to connect all the community, community with modern ICT tools to reach the goals of World Society Information, World Summit of Information Society goals. Thank you very much to give us the opportunity, and we wish you a great success. I'd like to, uh, to say that uh, our office, ITU office in Harare, uh, is uh, offering to provide uh, training uh, for the trainers here to make sure that these telecenters uh, are fully uh, equipped to provide uh, the uh, facilities for all the uh, community. So thank you very much. His Excellency from different organizations, Kushika Parisino. Thank you for your vote of thanks. I think that we are acting provincial chairman, Honorable Ziyambe Ziyambe, to our Yepano, Razo Tipamas, to pretend that you pay time to have a Your Excellency and Commander in Chief, Wemau Toyedu, President Robert Gabriel Mugabe, Pam Soroi, Minister Vedu, the ICT Vatunga Zapano, Baba Namai Shamu, Pam Soroi, President Vedu Senate, Amai Mazongwe, Pam Soroi, Ma minister Zedwari Pano, the Chichere Chesa, Babachari Kirevano, Babango, and province, Minister of State Zedu, Namai Shikuka, Namai Buka, 
Vatikuta opa zwara nas na baba ungwe Nema senior government officials are paka tupedu Na isheredu vajimba Na, na ishechirau nema zishesa uya Pachitiko chaitika pa zwara nas Dasimu kila kuna